The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times. Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When he recognized when, he, the reckoning, when the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents, but he had no means of paying. So his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now, as the servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle, to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to the master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you, when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, today's readings are about forgiveness. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? Peter should have problems with some of his fellow companions. Maybe he's fed up to support a brother who bothers him. And he asked Jesus, what is the measure of forgiveness? Seven times. For him, it is a lot to forgive seven times. But Jesus will give him the measures that God is expecting for us. Not seven, I tell you, but 77 times, meaning always. And Jesus gives this parable of the two servants. The king, God, will forgive us if we ask him for forgiveness. The first step comes from us. When we sin, we have to recognize our fault and to express it to Jesus, 
who is always ready to redeem us. But Jesus gives a limit to this forgiveness, which is our own mercy to our fellow companions. If we are not able to forgive each other, our heart will not be ready to receive God's forgiveness. Forgive your neighbor the heart he does you, and when you pray, your sins will be forgiven, says Ben Sirach in the book of Ecclesiasticus. Jesus has redeemed us from every sin. Man's sin is like a handle of sand. Divine mercy is an infinite sea, says Saint Seraphim de Sarov. It is really great and wonderful to know that we are forgiven. But if we refuse to forgive our brother, God cannot forgive us. Because my brother, I live with him. I see him concretely. For us, the Christian community, the church, wishes to be a place of forgiveness. To receive it, we have to desire to make our forgiveness to each other visible, concrete. Some Christian people have been able to forgive awful trials and to manifest it concretely. For example, during the genocide in Rwanda, a Christian couple from Emmanuel has adopted the three children of the man who himself was killed, who killed the children during the genocide, meaning that we must forgive our brother from our heart. It can be uneasy, difficult, it can take time, but what Jesus wants for us is that we forgive each other from our heart. Amen.